Six reasons why Lyft drivers don't have a smile on their face anymore. How's it going my fellow Uber and delivery drivers and anybody wanting to learn? Welcome back to the Driver Man channel. I'm your man Jose. Before we get started, if you have been here before and you have not yet subscribed, hit that red button and ring the bell so that you know anytime I upload a new video. Okay, the first reason would be that they changed six destination filters per day down to two giving drivers a lot less opportunity to make money going in a direction that they were already going to go anyway. Reason number two is they got rid of prime time, also known as surge, and replaced it with these personal power zones, which have been shown to be kind of a waste of time as you have to drive a certain number of miles and minutes to get into one, only to end up making less money than you would have made under normal circumstances of prime time without even having to move. Number three is they didn't report how many sexual assaults and rapes that they've had. According to a lawsuit that was filed this month, just in California alone, there have been over a hundred sexual assault and rape complaints in the last two years. Now, even two years ago, they, if they hadn't changed anything to make it safer, they could have at least mentioned this so that passengers themselves could have been better prepared having whatever they needed to uh, be ready in case a dangerous situation were to arise. But no, a lot of these people were going in assuming, oh, it's Lyft, it's safe. And unfortunately, that was not the case. Reason number four would be that they changed the requirement in Florida for the vehicle to be 2017 or newer model year in order to be eligible to drive on the Lyft platform. So you have to have a really nice up-to-date car. We're paying you all these big bucks to help you pay for that hefty car payment that we require you to have just so you can drive. Reason five is they are now taking a much bigger portion than the supposedly 20 to 25% commission that they're supposed to be taking. These days, according to website Jalopnik, on average Lyft is taking 38% of the fare from the drivers but I've seen screenshots in some cases as high as 60%. And last but of course not least would be the major cuts in pay that they did to drivers all over the country, in some cases as low, making it as low as 33 cents per mile. I know for Phoenix, in fact, it is 35 cents per mile. This is absolutely ridiculous. And more and more drivers have been quitting left and right, and this will continue to occur as they see their earnings drop and drop and drop and that's it i am driver man those are six reasons why let me know what you think in the comments below subscribe if you haven't yet and i will talk to you guys very soon